How you guys doing? My name is Eric from Triple H Roofing, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how much does a new roof cost you in 2021. There's a lot that's going on in the market right now as we speak with supply chain, with inflation, with labor shortages. So I'm going to touch on that briefly, explain to you what's going on, and more importantly, how does this affect you, the homeowner? How is this changing the prices that you're paying? So by the end of this video, you can understand what's what the prices are right now and what's going on in the market so you can make the best choice for you and your home. Okay, before we actually talk about the prices, let me explain to you what's going on. The price of a roof in the beginning of the year is not the same as it is now. The price has actually gone up dramatically, and let me explain to you why. Um, it really comes down to a basic economic principle. There's a big demand. However, there's a very low supply, and let me explain. There are three things that are affecting this. One of them is going to be the supply chain. So manufacturers of shingles, of plywood, of all the materials that we use are having problems with supply chain. Some people are saying that because of the lockdown, uh, some of these manufacturers weren't operating at all or weren't operating at full capacity. Uh, you can see that definitely with lumber. Lumber has taken a big hit. And then people were saying that they didn't expect such a big uh, demand during the lockdown. They didn't think that people were going to be renovating their homes and spending money. And then afterward, the lockdown, people were buying homes because of the low interest rates. Everyone was selling their home. Everyone wanted to fix up their home. So they didn't expect that. And there was a big demand, but the supply was not there yet. So that's why the cost of material was going up. Another issue is the labor shortage. So right now, this is not just for roofers or construction companies, but everyone is having problems with labor right now. You can see this uh, specifically in the trucking industry. Uh, companies are having a hard time to find truck drivers or, or make them work. So because of that, the cost of, of delivering materials is actually going up. Uh, people are saying because of the uh, stimulus checks, because of unemployment, uh, people don't have an incentive to work. So they rather, you know, if they're making the same amount of money not working, then they rather not work. So companies are having a hard time hiring people. And because of that, that's affecting the cost of delivering goods, uh, of suppliers, of manufacturers, all that stuff. And then lastly, this leads me to my last point, And then we'll talk about the prices. This just leads down to inflation. Inflation is happening right now. Um, the cost of materials have gone up for us. It's not that contractors are being more greedy during this right now where they're trying to make more money. It's because that cost, the cost of our material has gone up for us. We have to pass down those costs to the homeowner, unfortunately. And actually, most companies are eating up the costs, and it's not a good thing for a roofing company. Roofing companies have to operate at a certain type of margin to continue to operate, to pay their workers, to pay suppliers, and to pay everyone else and make sure everyone is doing well. So that's why the prices have gone up. It's because of the inflation. Our material has gone up on a monthly basis. We've been getting letters from our suppliers, and, and that's why the prices have changed, and that's why we're making this update video to hopefully help explain to you what's going on right now. Okay, now that we have the general idea of what's going on in the market, let's talk about pricing. What are the prices right now? So for the Houston market and surrounding areas such as Spring, Texas, the Woodlands, Katy, Conroe, Kingwood, uh, Sugar Land, Paraland, you know, the surrounding areas, the average homeowner is looking to pay somewhere between $300 to $450 per square. Now, in the roofing industry, we measure everything by squares. So uh, 10 feet by 10 feet, we multiply them, we get 100 square feet. Now, 100 square feet equals one square. So that's, uh, you understand, that's kind of how we get our measurements. We go based on how big your roof is, and then we multiply somewhere between that 300 to that $450 per square. So let's take an example. Let's say you had a home and your roof had about 30 squares. Now, if your roof at 30 squares, based on these prices I said earlier, you're looking to pay somewhere between 9,000 to 13,500 for a new roof. Because we multiply that 30 by 300, and then multiply that 30 by 450, and that's how we get that 9,000 or that 13,500. Now, the difference between that 9,000 to the 13,000 is going to come down to three things for your roof. Uh, number one is how complex is your roof? 
Uh, number two is going to be what material is being used. And then number three is who is the actual company that's installing that roof? Now, let's talk about the first factor, which is pretty straightforward. This is the most easiest to actually understand. And this is the complexity of your roof. Complexity means is how difficult is it to go ahead and install a new roof on the home right now? Um, this include things such as the size, which is a no brainer. Other things like layers. Do you have one layer of shingle? Do you have two layers of shingle? You know, two layers of shingles can cost you a little more money to go ahead and remove and to go ahead and, and, and dump. Uh, other things like do you have a very high pitch roof or do you have a very low pitch roof? A very low pitch roof is going to be a lot easier to install versus a very high pitch roof. Uh, things like the details. Do you have chimneys? Do you have how many plumbing boots do you have? Do you have skylights? Uh, do you have multiple faucets on your home? Is it a one-story home? Is it a two-story home? You know, these things do play a role in the cost of your roof. So we have a home that's a one-story home roof, and it's a very simple roof, very low-pitched roof. It's going to be a lot cheaper to do versus a home that's two stories, a higher-pitched roof. It's more complex. There's chimneys or skylights. Uh, there's multiple faucets, more values, you know? Those things do add up, so that's why it depends on, on what your roof looks like and how difficult is it to go ahead and put a new roof on. Okay, now the second factor is a little more complex, but it just means what material is being used. Now, not all material is the same material, just like in clothes and cars and anywhere else, you know, you're always going to have your low quality and then your high quality, and then you're going to have in your in-betweens. There are different brands out there. There are different uh, levels to the brands. So, for example, in shingles, are you going to use three-tap shingles? Are you going to use architectural if you use architectural shingles, are you going to use the standard traditional architectural? Or are you going to have the pro version? Are you going to have the heavier version that has more color, uh, more color palette, better colors that pop out more? Are you going to have uh, shingles that are hell resistant, algae resistant? Or do you want the luxury shingles that look like slate? Do you want the shingles that pop out at you and are different that make your house stand out? And then what about the underlayment? Are you going to have traditional, uh, traditional felt? Are you going to have synthetic felt? Are you going to have heavier synthetic felt on your roof? Um, what about ice and water on your valleys? Are you going to have ice and water on your valleys? Are you going to have metal? You know, other things like the ventilation. Are you going to have uh, roof vents that are just boxes? Or are you going to have ridge vent? Do you know the difference? When it comes to your hip and ridge, are you going to have three tab hip and ridge? Or are you going to have the actual company hip and ridge that makes it pop out more, the, the mountain ridge or the shadow ridge that makes your house look a little, a little nicer. So when it comes down to material, not every roof is the same. And this, it, it's different for every homeowner. Um, our recommendation is talk to a local roofing company, have them come out there, have them talk to you, have them show you what you have on, on the roof right now, and then have them explain to you the different properties of the roof and then let them give you their different options. Usually a company's gonna have, you know, the traditional replacement, and then maybe their designer, their pro version, and then sometimes they'll have their luxury version of the best of the best. So when it comes down to your roof, it depends on what you want as a homeowner, what you value, and, and, and on your environment as well. So material is important. Make sure you understand that not all material is the same material. Now, the final factor is gonna be the actual company that is installing your roof. This is very, very, very important. I can't tell you how many times we go out to jobs where the homeowner just replaced our roof maybe two, three years ago and they're having leaks. They can't call that company back. They can't find them or maybe they got screwed over, they got ripped off or we're, or we're repairing a leak and it's because that company cut corners somewhere, didn't install the material correctly or you know just did a sloppy job. The company does matter. We tell people, don't just hire Chuck with a truck. If some guy tells you he can do the job for a lot cheaper, a lot less, be very skeptical. I recommend go for the local company that is established and that is credible. So when it comes out to company, that does matter. If you have a company that's going to be very cheap and has no liability insurance, has no licensing, has no uh, uh, certification by the manufacturer, you're risking a lot when it comes to your roof. Yeah, that estimate may be you know, a lot cheaper by thousands, but maybe you're going to have problems in the future. 
I guarantee you that a roofing company cannot run its company well off if they're giving very cheap, cheap, cheap rates. They have to be cutting corners somewhere. And usually that means for you, the homeowner. And when it comes to the company, we tell people, look, look for a company that is established. Someone that is local to your area. Uh, someone that has experience. Maybe has, in business, has been in business for five plus years, or maybe has been doing roofing for uh, 20 plus years, 30 years, you know, ha has experience when it comes to your roof. You don't just want to hire a company that is new and has never installed a roof before or some guy that doesn't know what they're talking about. Uh, you also want someone with credentials. Ask if they have a license. In Texas, you don't have to have a license to be a roofer. Uh, that's why there's a lot of problems in this industry right here because you have a lot of people who just do roofing jobs because you don't require a license. There's not a lot of regulation here in Texas. Um, other things like an online presence. Do they have Google reviews? Do they have a Facebook? Do they have a website, Instagram, social media? Uh, do they have reviews on their platforms? Um, you know, what about insurance policies? Do they have insurance do they have liability insurance? You know, all those things do matter because that company that's installing your roof, it, it can really bite you in the butt if you don't do it correctly. And then with that company, that last part I want to leave you with is warranty. Companies offer different warranties on their roof. Um, companies, if they are certified with the shingle manufacturer, they can offer warranties with the shingle manufacturer, with Certainty, with Atlas, Gaff, Owens Corning, whichever brand it is, they can offer that warranty for the shingle. Uh, warranties change. It depends on the manufacturer and the supplier. And so usually you're going to have two different warranties. You're going to have your manufacturer warranty from the actual shingle manufacturer, the actual brand, and then you're going to have your company warranty. Do they offer a company warranty? You know, for example, for us, we offer our limited lifetime warranty with all our shingles. That's part of our uh, certification with our shingle manufacturer. And then we also offer our, our own company warranty. We do that separate, and then we explain why we do that separate. That's just something that we offer when it comes to roofs. So when it comes to the price point, the company is going to matter. Just make sure you do your research and hire someone that's going to be professional. Uh, I hope this video helped answer any questions that you might have when it comes to your roof. If you have any questions or if I didn't explain something thoroughly, just drop a comment down below. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I'll reply to the comments and answer any questions that you might have. Or if you actually are located here in the Houston area, you can give us a call. Our number is 832-458-1602. We are local here in Spring, Texas. Uh, we've been in business now for eight years now. So if we can help you with your roof, even if it is answering just a question, Give us a call. We're here to help you in any way possible. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you still watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.